Hey everybody, welcome to the Mind Catchers channel. As you can see, I look a mess. Last night I went to do my hair, I washed my hair, and did not realize I had no conditioner. Not a rinse out, not a deep conditioner. So, and I usually wash once a month for myself and my daughters, and I totally ran out of conditioners. So, and I could have made my own conditioner. I didn't even have any of that. So, I saw so many naturals talking about uh, the Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System from Shea Moisture. It has uh, marula oil and biotin in it, and it's a hair mask. It made everybody's like top 10 as far as deep conditioners was concerned. So I said, my hair needs a deep conditioning bad. Actually, they had a sale. It was buy one, get one, half off. So for the second um, hair mask, instead of doing the same one twice, I bought, let me show you. I bought this one. Everyone's raving about this one as well. This one is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Fig and Boabib. I know I'm botching that oil. But people are talking about this. We don't know if it's limited edition or not. But people are really talking about this. It smells amazing. Very nice scent to it. But that's not the one I'm going to use today. Because so many people talked about the 10-in-1 renewal system, I said I'm going to give that one a try today. So, I don't like this scent as much as the other one. Here it is. And it still looks like it's going to be, it's a little creamier than the other one. But this is the one I'm going to be putting in my hair today. So I'm going to wet my hair first because it's already washed. I washed it last night and um, it's just been plaited underneath my head cap until now. So I'm going to re-wet my hair all over and then I'm going to apply this mask. My hair feels like, it doesn't feel stripped or bad, but it is extremely... I can't comb through this. It needs help. It needed a condition badly. I cannot comb through this. So if this 10-in-1 renewal can get a comb through it, I will be so happy. I didn't even bother to comb through this last night. I just raked my fingers through as best as I could and put it in big plaits and go to sleep. So let's see what happens, guys. All right, guys, so I wet my hair. This is just water. And don't let those curls confuse you now. I do have a little popping going on, but this is like, it's still very, very tangled, very tangled. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the 10-in-1, okay? And as I can, if it seems to loosen up a bit, I'll go ahead and put it in sections because this is a natural hair emergency. This is an emergency, guys. We got to do what we have to do. Now, I will say it has definitely, look at that. You can see where my curls are releasing and it is feeling silkier. You can just see by the dangle. It's doing something. Yeah, last night I couldn't do this much. So you see a big tooth comb is at least getting through those ends. I am running into some little hard spots here. But overall, way better than last night. I could not get a comb through. And you see, we're almost straight through. Look at that such a difference conditioners make so much of a difference all right guys i walked around the house and did a little housework for about an hour and then i sat underneath my dryer and i sat under there for uh, about 35 minutes so it got a lot of deep conditioning a lot 
So I'm going to rinse my hair with these little twists in. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm finished rinsing out my hair and believe me, the mind catcher has on clothes. I have on clothes. But anyway, that's what it's looking like. Super, super soft. All right. So what I'm going to do is apply some of my kinky curly knot today. That's what it looks like. And I'm not sure if my lighting is picking up everything. So fingers crossed. But I'm going to apply some of that. And you can just see the difference. You can see. And it smells very nice. And I can get through the hair with ease now. Okay. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of this and I'm going to do some uh, Bantu knots and I'm going to sit back underneath the dryer again. All right, guys, here I am and you see my little Bantu knots here. So what I did was uh, apply the kinky curly knot today. You saw that in the video. I twisted them up and I ended up going to sleep. I didn't sit underneath the dryer. I ended up going to sleep. Then when I woke up the next morning, I said, oh my goodness, I didn't apply any type of oil or anything to my hair. What I did was take each one apart and they were still kind of damp in the middle. And I put a little bit of oil in my hair and you would think I had that oil on the dresser. So I can show you guys, but I don't. It is the dark and lovely oil i'll try to put a picture here of it and it's it smells so good and it's very lightweight i believe i got it in a uh onyx box uh or essence beauty box uh but anyway it's very lightweight i rubbed that through each bantu knot you know just retwisted it and went from there for a few hours so we are going to see what it looks like so Okay, so I do have some great coil action going on here. All right, guys, I can tell you so far, three pieces on this side was still wet. And I waited hours. I should have sent it underneath the dryer just for a second, but I tried not to use any heat. I really did. But they're still wet. Mm. and this side seems to be coming out better than this side it's very pretty though and you know when all else fails you just pin them up but the ones that are totally dry are very pretty on this side guys you can see a little hmm, little sadness in my face I should have sat under the dryer just for a little while I had a really big one back here and it didn't dry completely and then look at that frizz back there and the ones that did dry nicely they came out so pretty and soft oh man and then I had three over here that didn't dry i could feel the dampness as soon as i pulled it out and i was like i don't believe that 
Oh, man. Okay. So, back to the drawing board. But the product, the 10 in 1, worked absolutely beautifully. I'm going to play around with products to see how I can get my best Bantu knot. Actually, the best Bantu knot I've ever had. Uh, oh, God. I, I really can't remember what I put in my hair that day. I cannot remember, but it came out so beautiful. I can't remember what I did. I should have recorded it. I really should have recorded it. It came out beautiful that day. Oh, man. I was trying something new. Uh, maybe it was the leave-in conditioner, the uh, kinky curly, not today, but uh, it's a beautiful leave-in conditioner, but maybe for this style I shouldn't have used a leave-in. You guys, give me a suggestion. What, what should I use to do a Bantu knot out? I want to say when I did the really pretty one, I didn't use anything. I want to say I didn't use anything. I think I just sat under the dryer. I really don't think I used anything. I can't remember. But it was so fluffy and pretty, I just can't remember. Okay. Anyway, but you see what I'm dealing with here. The curls are very soft. Very, very soft. So it did its job. I would tell anybody to purchase that. I would not have been able to survive had I not bought that deep conditioner so basically that was what the video was about using that deep conditioner it did everything that it said it was going to do it had my hair and it still feels like butter um, i'm not going to fool with the bantu knots again until i have it on lock so give me a lot of suggestions down below because some of them like i said they are beautiful right here in the front but in the back i, I don't know well, part of it is because they didn't dry totally, so that's that's a big part of it. But also, let me know what you're using for your Bantu knot out. All right, and that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a video uh, on this makeup coming up so you guys can see what I used. And it's a talk through, so you'll enjoy that. And that's it. Cyber kisses. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.